Hello! Here are some ways that I really like to use the birth balm labor beyond sort of pelvic tilts and shifts and that type of thing. So the first thing I think is really important to understand when you're sitting on the birth ball is one, this may, for me, probably be a little bit low. We want knees to be slightly higher than hips, but not so, so much higher that it's hard for us to feel like we can achieve a good quality pelvic tilt. And so as I rock forward here, I'm gonna rest my elbows on my knees. And just make sure I can feel that back body expand. And get all the way back out. Many people, when they're working on their forward and back tilts, is they're getting that forward direction really well, but they're not really feeling that that back tilt and so back is never really getting the chance to fully let go and relax never bringing that inlet back and so playing with that making sure we can get all the way under not just staying stuck in that forward position um, so outside of flexion rounding and tucking side to side motions and circles which are all totally fine things to do on the ball as it helps you find rhythm or relaxation. I also like to play with a little bit of hip shifting. And so sliding one knee forward and one knee back is a nice way to use the ball to get some nice pelvic motion. A partner pushing on a knee or alternating pushing on knees can also help that happen in sitting. I also like sometimes to play with some alternating reaching. So if we shift one hip back, reach the opposite arm forward, just to get a little bit of rotation and twist through a rib cage uh, to help the pelvic floor stay nice and loose and relaxed in between contractions. 